Hey guys, welcome back for Let's Play Sparrow 3, You're the Dragon. We are now going into our next level of the game. And I'm not looking forward to this one, Spooky Swamp. When you see a ladder or walls that look climbable, just jump onto it and you'll grab it with your claws. As you already said when we done the Homeworld Hunter, it just automatically comes up to it. And this is the only level where you have to climb into the level and not walk across some area. We just climb up a ladder and you're in the level. I do not think this is going to be a very good episode because I have nothing to s really good to say about this level. It's called Spooky Swamp, but it doesn't look out at spooky. It looks out a bit bright for some standards here. Maybe it's just the lighting difference. Perhaps it was a different shade of darker, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, never mind on that, but that's another story. Kill the... That gator was mean. I thought I was a gonna. Thanks for saving me. Oh, it's a haiku thing. Homer the Firefly. Homer Simpson is better. At least he actually has something to say. At times. And for the first time in I don't know how long it's been, Kelly is back with me here on commentary. Say hello, Kelly. Hello. So this level, I really, I'm, sp I have nothing to say about this level. We got those mosquito things, whatever the hell those those things are, which look like something like Pinocchio mixed with uh, Tinkerbell. And I missed the thing, got it the second time, and I got it the first time on this one. Kill the crawdad, or n known as a freshwater river lobster. At least here in the south, that's where they are. Not sure if they are anywhere else in the country. Maybe in the in Tornado Alley. I don't know. Ow. Yeah, trees have walls now. What? What the hell? When do trees have walls, Kelly? I do not know. Two for one special. <laughs> Kill a giant rhinoc and a gator at the same time. Got a chest here. There's a key in the level on top of these trees somewhere. And over there's our first dragon egg of the level. Hopefully we'll have a reference here. After I collect a few gems. And here we have... Have... Michael. Like Michael Jordan. Michael Jackson? I, I was trying to prevent you to say that. Did you notice he had buck teeth? No, I did not. Also, there's a Michael in my vampire... Of course, he'd have to make a, some sort of vampire reference, Kelly. Well, he kind of reminds me of you. you Alright, I deserve a kiss on that one. Come here. <laughs> Alright. Killing the, killing the piranha signs. I am blowing out the piranha signs for a skill point. Do, do these gators have tusks? He looks like that. When do gators have tusks? You don't see that on on what's that show that your that your stepdad watches, Kelly? Yeah, I won't play it. That's the uh, that's the network. Also. Huh? Swamp people. That's with gators. You know, Animal Planet is supposed to be f for learning about animals, not killing them for sport. Otherwise, that would be what ESPN for deer hunting or, no. or whatever or whatever it is. No. Speak up some, I, I can even barely hear you. It's not on... It's like on Spike, not Animal Planet. Are you sure it's not Discovery either? Maybe Discovery, but it ain't on Animal Planet, just yeah. like you said. And there is money bags again. Oh, How many is it this time, money bags? This door is jammed shut. Only the power of gems can hope to move it. Of course. 500, sure, just shut up. You've made a wise choice. It will mean more eggs for you and more gems for me. Best of all, Spyro, I can stop speaking haiku. What a sweet relief. Indeed. Oh, you got blue. 
Ow. But yeah, Animal Planet. You know, back then they had actually they had a lot of great shows. Like I used to watch it on a regular basis. The Planet's Funniest Animals, the Jeff Gorman Experience. Huh? The American um, Funniest Home Movies. That's on, uh, what is it? CBS? The lamps are lit, there is a secret in here that I will show you. But perhaps the most famous of them all on Animal Planet. May he rest in peace, Steve Irwin, the Crocodile Hunter. Mm. And he, he, he's a lot of, he's the main, he was the icon of... Animal Planet before he died. And I need to light one more just so we I can go into that secret house. It is I don't think that's it. Oh, there's another egg there in distance. But on the opposite side, there's a key. Uh, <laughs> dang it, you're back. Okay, I'm back. And not, not too far from the other lamp thing, I wanna go, just go and get this real quick. Skill point. Take out all the piranha signs. 19 lives. Climb up the ladder, and we get the fourth uh, lamp, which opens the door. Thank you, Zoe. Okay, I'm back to where I was before. Now, we got an egg over there, and a key over there. Which means I'm gonna have to backtrack to this area, so let's go ahead and get the egg first. Let's take our checkpoint, and we have Frank. I have a vampire hunter from the same series with Michael. The Morganville Vampire series. The Morganville Vampire series? Mm hmm. Uh, what else was there? There was the. It used to be an old show on Nick Jr. Uh, hey, it's Franklin, the turtle. Do you remember that? Mm hmm. First Franklin, the bank. Well, in our in our local area, there's a it's a money loaning service, but not sure if it's uh, nationwide or not. I have a step uncle named Frank. And I just got the key, so let's go ahead and find that chest now. And a magic great person in there. Dragon magic. And she didn't capture all the gems. You oh, need it. don't, don't do you just wait? Super bonus world. There is one mini level in particular in the super bonus world, which will be at the very end of this let's play, where there will be tons, and I mean tons, of gems. Just they all jump in right into the spiral when 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 upon collected. All right, this is gonna be a bit risky right here. Gonna try and glide across without going through the rest of the level. Ow, piranhas. Piranhas in fresh water. This isn't the Amazon here. Okay. It happened with chlorine. The tea lamps are lit. Now I'll tell you the secret of what's in Bubba this Bubba the Firefly. Mm -hmm. A creepy wizard lives inside but hates the light. He has awoken. He swore to destroy whoever lights the tea lamps. Better you than me. Then why the hell did you want me to light them? When he was doing absolutely nothing, just sleeping there. Just kill him in his, in his sleep. Wait, that would be murder. Never mind. Do you not forget double D? Piranha double D? With the chlorine water? I've only seen Piranha double D with you uh, once with you, Kelly, and I, I've, I've seen the first Piranha more than that. And I, I'm glad you brought it up because we did, ha we did have Piranhas in this level already. And the tusks, alligators again. Sleepy rhino. Three, two, one. It's a rhino. Well, it is a rhino, but it's a rhino, as they call it here in the game. And, and it's only. And it's a two-stage fight: alligators, bombs, and just like that, he only has one health left. And once again, take out the gators. He throws the bomb. And what do we do? Send it right back. And if you can't hear, my dog is barking in the background. Herbie! Herbie the love bug! Yep. 
Oh, there's Herbie, the movie with the buttle, a uh, bug. Volkswagen bug. That's that's Herbie the Love Bug, Kelly. It's not a love bug. It's racing one, also. Well, <laughs> whichever way the slice of the cake, it's still it's still a vehicle. Yeah. And this one's low hand. This swamp smells so sweet. The springtime trees are fragrant. I'm off to kick butt. And this will be our last working with Sheila the Kangaroo, at least for now, anyway. She's off to kick butt, but there's no butt to kick. We're just here to smash boulders and stomp some mushrooms just so some blind fireflies can blow up cages to get some eggs, which is there across the way. And this is probably one of the most annoying escort missions ever that I've ever played. Like, you you have never played this, this series before, Kelly. It is annoying as hell. I had to make several cuts in post just for this video, and I can't get this cracked wall to burst open. There we go, finally. All that for two... Two level gems. Gotta sump the mushrooms, kick rock, and then there's no butt to kick, unless you count the fireflies themselves. Because you have to do it while well escorting the two fireflies so they can free these two eggs here, which are trapped in cages. Mm -hmm. They have bombs, spoilers, which are gonna be used to explode the cages, but not the eggs. Which doesn't make a lick of sense. About as much sense as this wall right here. I had... With my first, very first time playing through this game, that wall annoyed the hell out of me, because I couldn't find that 25 gem until I just kicked it. I kicked the, I kicked the bucket. Or the wall. Whatever the expression is. One, two, three, there we go. Even more green gems. I wonder what's in this. Oh, it's a five gem. I thought it'd be another two gem. Never mind then. We didn't have enough green up there already. It's running around collecting the gems before actually doing the quest. Not quest, but the escort mission. Mm -hmm. Reds are ones, greens are twos, purples are fives, red, uh, yellows are tens, and uh, pink, purple, whatever you want to call it, well, no, I guess it would be pink or magenta, is 25. 25 is the max you can go as far as gem level counts. It's basically exploration points. All right, let's get this over with. How many more jumps do we have left to go? Four. Somewhere in this area, I bet. We have the bombs here. We must destroy the egg cage, but we just go boom. Kangaroo can help. You can clear the pass for us. Will Sheila help us? Yes, I love your freestyle high cue. No, I I do not. Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. Smash open a few rocks. Stomp this mushroom. Oh, there's one one of the four gems over there to the left side of the screen. If you just go back a little few seconds, where are you? Where are you? There you are. Even with glasses, those guys are blind, and they need me to make the way for them. It. it. At least this guy is simple. He is easygoing and uh, he's not as big of a, of a pain as the other guy. So pretty much done this with these right here. At least this first one. Peggy, like Peggy Hill from King of the Hill. And there's Peggy on Mary with Children. 
Do I have a choice? Yes. If you clear my path, I can blow up the egg cage. Poor, poor captive eggs. There's only one egg left. It's not plural. No more haiku, please. But yes, yes I have to. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. Now this guy is more annoying than the last. He takes a more complicated route, and yet. We're already off to a bad start. Ow! I went to boom again. Big rocks can be kicked, they say. Mushrooms must be stomped. Yes, I knew that from the first time and the many times going through this level. Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. Hopefully, we can get it this time here. Smash a few rocks. Where are you at? Not taking that way. Even with glasses, these guys are blind. So why do they have to take these complicated routes? Ow! I went boom again. Big rocks can be kicked, they say. Mushrooms must be stomped. Yes. I know. Yes. Let's just get this over with. I told you that silver was annoying. Uh, uh, Sparks, you forgot the gem. I'm trying to stay ahead of this guy here, Kelly. Can't use any distractions. I know you went boom again. Take 42. Get the gem. Good boy, Sparks. Now there's only two gems remaining. See, there were alone two gem or. I'm trying to. The, the mushroom, all those stomped all the way, kept me from getting to that rock. I went to boom. Okay, I think. What is this? The fifth try now? He doesn't take that one mushroom path. Stomp this into the ground. Bust open this. Stomp this. He'll be going into that rock over there, so... Wait him out. Nope. Uh... Oh! I, I had it. At least we got a little further this time. That's good. Practice making perfect. Where are you at? Okay. Smash this. Break this. Break this. We come back this way, so stop that. The third one. Stop the middle. Take out this rock. Yeah, I obviously put this one in here for a reason. It has to be double stomped. For good measure, do this, and we have made. Whew! Finally, this say I better have a good reference. Uh, Michelle with one L. Dragons are born today. She loves my hero. No, I'm not your hero. I'm your seeing eye kangaroo. Now, find those other two gems. Or two gem. I 
I've already gone in the full circle here. I, I don't know if it's here or not. Well, back to searching. Find the shiny firefly. Oh yeah, that's the point B uh, guy here. And that's him right there. But, and, okay, here's the second gem. 500 to 500. Now to work my way back to the exit. Oh yeah, that whirlwind is out of order because I can't... I haven't gotten to the point B yet. And that's where we're headed right now. Officially. Exiting the level from there. And I think there might be a, a cutscene after... We get through here. I'm not entirely sure. We've already done the Enchanted Towers and Sergeant Bird. It's, this is the third level. So, yeah, there might be one. Let's try this again. Ow. Thankfully, there's a crowd out here. Okay, there's not one over here then. Just exit level. You are brave, dragon. Much braver than I by far. Here, take this darn egg. Thank you. That was actually a good haiku. Take the darn egg. Thelonious. Have no clue. Oh, it's a very popular name, Kelly. Ha Much like Jason and Brittany. At least those you can pronounce. Okay, so I might I was actually wrong about the cutscene then. Alright then, uh, I guess we already done that one then, so kill the bunnies, get a shiny butterfly, get an extra life, and in the next time you will see me and Kelly enter the level known as Bamboo Terrace, the panda level. Say goodbye, Kelly. Bye.